the Sunday Business Page. The Functional Literacy Ministry of Haiti, or FLM, was established in 1983 to educate the people of that country and raise money to improve their health care, employment, and well-being. Volunteers at FLM Haiti support a school from kindergarten to year 13 for more than 600 students. They also work at a community health center that assists hundreds of Haitians. Each month with medical care and FLM's literacy outreach, teaches reading, writing, and math to 2,000 young people and adults in Haiti each year. Reverend Dr. Leon Pamphile is executive director of the Functional Literacy Ministry of Haiti. He also serves as bishop of the Church of God in Christ in that country, overseeing more than 100 churches. Russell Bynum is the organization's president. They join us now on the Sunday Business page for an update of the work of FLM. Gentlemen, thank you so much. Welcome back to the show. Good to have you on. And, you. you know, I think that uh, a lot of people, we hear of Haiti when it's in crisis. We don't always pay much attention in between. Mm -hmm. So let me first ask you, uh, if I can, Dr. Penfield, FLM, what exactly is FLM? FLM is an organization established 35 years ago here in Pittsburgh. So it's a Pittsburgh-based organization. Pittsburgh-based organization and strongly supported by the Pittsburgh community. And for this, we are very thankful. And you essentially raise money locally for use in Haiti. Is that right, Russell? Yes, that's, that's, that's our goal, to help Haitians help themselves through the fundraising that we do here. We help them um, better their, their situation. Right. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you look at uh, some of the statistics. What is the most critical need in Haiti these days, Leon? Oh, the needs are immense everywhere you turn. And uh, the need for food, right. the basic necessities of life, uh, food, uh, education, health care. I was looking at some of these statistics and, and was really surprised that, you know, the average person in Haiti lives to be only 64 mm -hmm. years of age. Yes, uh, yes. You contrast that with, say, the United States, where it's the late 70s, early 80s, mm -hmm. depending on your gender. Uh, and the fact is that 40 percent unemployment in that country? That's correct. It's a, it's a very big, big issue. And without work, of course, you know, people cannot help themselves. We, what is the, the, the country, given all the hurricanes and earthquakes and the devastation that we hear that, uh, that Haiti has had over the years, has the country come back? I think uh, the people of Haiti, they are very resilient mm -hmm. through all the, these issues you have mentioned, natural disasters. Mm -hmm and even political mismanagement, uh, they, they are finding a way to, to make it. Uh, right. Yeah. Well, it's good to be resilient mm -hmm. when you have so much thrown at you. Mm -hmm. That is you know? uh, Russell, you've got an event coming up in May. Tell us about it. Well, uh, on May 12th, um, we have our FLM annual Walk for Haiti, and we're encouraging people to come and mm -hmm. go to our website and, and, and sign up to be part of this walk. We're asking for groups, churches, and nonprofit groups, and, and, and community groups to walk for Haiti under their own banner. But walk um, for Haiti. Um, they're in Holland Park. We're going to meet I at was the Bigelow. Ask you, where are you going to walk? <laughs> Bigelow Grove. Uh, Hol and and um, that's where we're going to meet at, and we're going to walk around. It's going to be a 3K walk. Mm -hmm. We're just um, in, encouraging people to come and get involved. And what's going to? What are you going to do with that money? Um, well, help. Um, FLM, we have so many things that we're doing. We have a trade school, we have a clinic, um, we have a grade school, as you mentioned. So this, this money helps us help the people of Haiti help themselves. And again, it's May 12th? May 12th. Is that a Saturday? That's a Saturday. A Saturday. Yes. So, so I take it, I mean, you really depend on the folks in Pittsburgh for your mission. We surely do, and they have been very responsive and very supportive over the last 35 years, mm -hmm. and uh, we dare to still count on them. Yeah, well, you should, <laughs> you should still count. I, I, you know, Pittsburgh's a very generous community, yes, and I think there are so. a lot of people, so. when they're aware of a need. That's right. Uh, are there a lot of Haitians who have connections to Pittsburgh besides yourself? Uh, yeah, there are more and more. We have uh, more Haitians living in this community. 
Right. Yeah. Yeah. And and do you think this has become a a program that is has particular focus here in Pittsburgh, Russell? Yeah, I think um, we you know we're we're always talking about international um, um, relations and and right. and Haiti's just <laughs> uh, hopping the skip from Florida, and we th th this is a group that that we can help a group of people that we can help that's right in our own right close to us. Yeah, so it's our backyard. Yeah, it's our backyard. It's so why not help them? And as we help um, them, we'll find that we're helping our own country, our own self. Right. You know, it's always a blessing to help other people. And you know, the other thing is to clear to say that we've got a lot of Haitians who live in America, maybe down yes. more in Florida, Florida than yes. up here, mm -hmm. uh -huh. but a lot of folks. Gentlemen, thank you. Thank you so much for the Thank good work you. you're doing. It's great to have you're you on welcome. the show as Thank always, you. Russell. Thank you both again for being with us. We'll be back with more of the Sunday Business Page in just a few moments. Stick with us.